Gane, gane. <laughs> How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And have I got something for you today? Yeah, we're going to do a model review of this model here. Yes, siree. They're drifting. They're going around the corners. They're drifting. Yeah. <laughs> what are we looking at today? That's right. We're looking at um, the brand new models. The brand new, brand new, brand new models that I have gotten just in the mail. Just, uh, well, if you didn't catch Saturday's video, go check that out. So, yeah, check that out. Saturday, we'll probably tag that at the end of the video. But anyway, yes, here we go. This is what we've got. Let's just go ahead and uh, we're going to take a really in-depth look at them uh, today. So, it is uh, King Smart, made in China. This is the Land Rover Defender 90 uh, in 136 scale. And uh, these are pretty nice. Like, I like 136 scale cars. Uh, you know, they're, they're uh, pullback, which, you know, um, you know, it's toyish. But, hey, they got uh, some great, great details. Now, on the bottom, uh, <laughs> King Smart... We have really nothing going on here at all, really. I don't even know what that is there, but uh, okay. Uh, I'm not really sure what these things are here, but that's okay. And we kind of look like that, that there's a muffler or something there. But uh, skid plate, yeah, we got a kind of a start there. Very, very nice tread. I like these tread. They're not overly aggressive. I like the wheels. Um, I believe all the... Uh, models that now there was uh, four four uh, uh, flavors <laughs> four colors available uh, black and white red and blue I was only able to pick up the uh, black and white but uh, just to have uh, different contrast going on here but you see very very nice underneath the uh, valance here very very nice uh, I I want to say that that is a different part, this silver piece. I want to say that that's a different part. Um, it could just be painted. Huh, yeah. All right, but anyway, uh, on to the lights. Very, very nice uh, light clusters there. And uh, very accurate to the, um, the real thing. Now, boy... It almost looks like that could be turned into a light and sound uh, type vehicle, uh, you know, and uh, maybe later on. I really like the uh, double squares there now and, and the uh, ring around the headlight. That is awesome. Now, if you take a look, now if I'm just going to cover this up, if that don't scream Freelander, I don't know what does. <laughs> but it almost looks like a Freelander grill and everything. But it's got the Defender with the badge in there. You can see that. That's very nice. That's very nice. I like that front end. Very, very nice. Uh, Clamshell type uh, hood on it. It does have the black checker plating uh, that uh, just uh, adds a little accent there. Uh, cowl is all metal. And then we get right out to the uh, windshield, which has the in... Um, embossed or in uh, not separate pieces of the wipers there but you can see that the dash has got some nice texturing and uh, cubby holes and grab handles there uh, as you see already we're a left hooker there uh, onto the roof really accurate as far as I know I don't get a lot of pictures of the roof but uh, you can see the uh, backup camera and uh, I don't know if they even have the antenna on that as well so let's uh, swing around to the what is the driver's side because this is a left hooker. And uh, let me see if I can get my flashlight up and about. See if we can get some light in there again so we can see what's going on. Very nice um, interior with the uh, very nice uh, steering wheel. If I can get in there and it's got the... Uh, automatic so it's a big brake pedal pedal with the gas pedal there very very nice also while we're here we're gonna take a look that the door has a door skin to it 
very nicely um, added add there that uh, looks like that they incorporated that mirror onto the inner door skin so that's kind of innovative I like that a lot but then when we get to the bottom here it has uh, extra uh, uh, extra uh, what is that ground effects which is not pla uh, painted black it's part uh, plastic which then they just uh, rivet on to the bottom of the metal of the door so really kind of cool there very nice fit and finish uh, the door shuts nice there's nice uh, gap lines uh, what what's kind of keen is the top of the door does not open with the bottom of the door so that's kind of neat but it's really cool that it has opening doors um, now this has got the open um, side windows it doesn't have any covers uh, or uh, what are those saddle bags or whatnot to the covers uh, matching door knobs does have the vents uh, that are I believe those are yep those are separate plastic pieces a little black plastic there and uh, I like how they uh, kept the eyebrows in there uh, still yet today there's uh, eyebrows now I, I I believe on the real one you can uh, purchase uh, that add on to it and then you can see in the back there that it does have uh, three row bucket seats or uh, three row seats so let's swing around to the back here as you see we have uh, very very nice that the the, uh, the uh, mufflers there yep yep but then it has the under valance with the rear bumper with the uh, Land Rover in the license plate and then some uh, marker lights down below I love these square tail lights the square tail lights in these are just awesome uh, I like the little added tail lights to the side too uh, this is just totally cool um, I suppose the old uh, Defender would they'd be round <laughs> you know but uh, that's all right full-size spare tire on there swivels around uh, like I say I think all the uh, I think even the blue and the red cars had these black wheels very very nice uh, so yeah so there you go no uh, window uh, heating elements defrost on the back window but that's all right I want to say yes those uh, tail lights the big ones are a lens insert so that's pretty cool there so coming around over to the passenger side there's the gas cap and there is the interior and you can see that uh, it has the grab handles there and the the uh, cubby hole the uh, yeah and then you have the uh, uh glove box yeah glove box which nobody puts gloves in anymore <laughs> so uh, uh so there you go yeah really kind of neat i really really kind of like this one uh, i showed you the the white one first because it's really kind of easy to see uh that versus the black although this uh black on black on black the murdered out is really kind of cool i really enjoy that but uh, like I say, I wanted to get two at least, and uh, we can, uh, you know, kind of see, uh, you know, difference in the colors and stuff like that. So, like I said, there was a red one and a blue one as well. I bought these off eBay. Um, there was a toy guy out of California uh, that uh, sells them. These come, um, and, and look at... Uh, and I'm going to have to try to see. These come in a tray of whatever, nine or whatever. And uh, from King Smart, so they come in a tray and a box. So you open up the box, you fold the box, so it's a thing. And then you they, they sell them out. So um, these ran me free shipping. These ran me a little over $9. I spent a little more because I wanted to get them in time, you know, in a timely manner. So um, this, is the, this is it. This is the first new defender land rover models that i have and uh these are awesome uh there are other companies out there uh that are doing them and uh, this is kind of the cheapest ones that i could find so i could get it uh here but this is awesome 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 so there you go i just wanted to give you a great total overlook of these models an in-depth look at uh really kind of uh uh, you know they're kind of a, a 
I don't know, King Smart. They're they're not really cheap, but yet they are. And being um, you know pullback, you know they're kind of you know they're geared for being a toy, you know. But uh, they they can really go. Holy cow, that one's just a flying. But uh, yeah, I can really see them doing sights and sounds. I think those headlights um, are lens insert so i think that that could be a possibility uh if i can find uh, if they sell these in the states maybe i could pick up some more and we can uh do some customs but uh there you go i just wanted to do an in-depth look at the king smart model review of the brand new land rover defender and these are 90s defender 90s uh, I don't know if there's any, I don't know if King Smart does uh, the 110 or not. All right, it's time to give me a big thumbs up. Oh, there it is, big thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, come, on on, come on down and comment. Or come on over to Facebook. That's over there, Facebook, uh, Roverland. And stop by the Roverland store as well. And Facebook page and Instagram. I think that's over there. All right, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. And as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.